wait for it. That's it. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Upshift Exotics. It is way too loud in here. As I was saying, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Upshift Exotics. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is going to be an awesome episode, so stick around and enjoy it. We're gonna be filming with a Lexus today, the same one we saw in the last vlog, which you have not checked it, go check it out. As I'm talking to you right now, I still haven't even filmed it yet, but I'll be filming it today, and it'll go live today, so you're seeing this in the future. So it's a little confusing, I know, but go back and watch the last vlog. It is epic, the police show up. I may or may not have gotten arrested. Just for that, hit the like button and go back and check it out. All right, guys, so we're here with David Garcia. David, what's your Instagram handle? Just so everybody can it's follow you. At Mother Teresa of Gaines. At Mother Teresa of Gaines. He is a powerlifting coach, a uh, strongman coach. So if you're into that, you guys know where to find him. Also, if you want to look at the Lexus LC 500, this is what he's got. He just picked it up about three months ago. And it looks absolutely beautiful with these amazing Vossen wheels. I mean, it's like a like a gunmetal gray. Yeah, gunmetal gray, the 22s. And then you just put some uh, some carbon fiber accents on. Yep, by uh, Artisan Spirits, Japanese brand. Very, uh, some people like to call it like the Louis Vuitton of uh, <laughs> carbon fiber, so remember that. Uh, it's, it's, it's a high, high-end luxury exotic sports car. Um, it's got a little bit of everything. It's got a natural, uh, I'm sorry, naturally aspirated V8. Uh, it's got right under 500 horsepower. And that's all stock as well. Uh, what else? The interior is very specific, very rare. When nice. I purchased it, and we'll get to that part. That's the interior is sick. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it's a pretty heavy vehicle. I can't tell you the exact amount, but it is kind of heavy. Um, but other than that, I mean, it, it rides very smoothly. I actually drove it all the way from Florida. When I bought it in December, they asked me, oh, we'll ship it to you, blah, blah, blah. I was like, you know what? It's a grand touring vehicle. I want to drive this back myself. So I drove it all the way from Fort Lauderdale, all the way back all to Texas. Way. How, yeah. how long did it take you? It's a total of 21, 20 hours, yeah. and not a single time did I ever want to get out of the vehicle Dude, because it was so comfortable. It was, it's so, a good way to break in the car. Yes, I yes. know, I, I, <laughs> I got mine in Irving, but I was like, if I would have found it somewhere else, I would have chose to yeah. drive it back rather than fly and, <laughs> You know, fly back and then ship it, you know. No, it's fine, man. Did you put this stripe on or was yeah. this? We added the stripe. Uh, that's not factory. That's not part of the deal. It looks It looks that. so good. It looks like it came on the car. And if the vehicle looks familiar, it's because this was the vehicle, not this specific one, but the LC500 was the one that was used in uh, the movie The Panther, the Black Panther. Okay, okay, yeah. So no, the one that he that, drives yeah. in there, um, that's... That's when they officially display the vehicle out to the public and things That's like that. Kind of like when Iron Man, uh, he drove the R8. Yes. Back in 2008. Exactly yeah. Concept, yes. So I was in, I, I was, uh, what would have, that would have been uh, 13 years ago. Yeah. So uh, so I, I remember seeing the R8 for the first time. I was like, wow, that's wow. a cool car. Yeah. And Iron Man drove it, so <laughs> I wanted to drive it. Um, I love the paint on this. Is it, what Do you know what uh, paint this yep. is called? It is called Nightfall Mika. It's, it kind of changes color throughout the day. Some days it's purple, some days it's blue, some days it looks black. So it just kind of depends on how the light hits it. Yeah, like right here, yeah. you can definitely see it's got like a purple hue. Yeah. But then like over here, it looks more blue. So like even on the camera, you guys watching this at home, you guys can see that that's like purplish right through here. But then over here, it's more like a royal blue. Yeah. Yeah. It looks really cool underneath this light right here. Now this is sick. So we gotta, we gotta get to the interior, man. Are you ready for the interior? Are you guys ready for the interior? Cause this is insane. Look at this. This is absolutely crazy. This blue interior, blue console. Got this wraparound screen over there. And then my favorite is the orange accents. So, uh, so tell us a little bit about the interior. What's so the, special about it? The special part is obviously the color combination. Um, it's very rare. It's you're, you're hardly gonna ever find it. When I purchased it three months ago, I was told uh, that there's about ten of these. So uh, 
with this exterior and interior combination. So that's what we're kind of waiting to see. We're gonna officially get paperwork and see how many there yeah. really are exactly. So we're waiting on that. It's got Alcantara yeah. on the side. That's what the orange is. And then the, it's got the white leather seats, obviously. Uh, they're called Bespoke White. Bespoke White? Bespoke, Bespoke White. Bespoke White. So allegedly there is 10. That's what I've been there, told. There, there are 10 of these. This is, so you, you see it online before you bought it. And when you saw the interior, what'd you think of the interior? Uh, let's just say it was online for about an hour and I immediately reserved it and flew out there two days later and purchased it. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I mean, the interior, <laughs> the interior is absolutely beautiful. Gosh, look at this blue and orange. It's Alcantara, this is the seats. Bespoke white. Yep, he spoke white. He spoke white. Definitely one of the cooler cockpits that you will see for sure. And they did that on purpose. Lexus actually uh, designed it specifically in mind with the driver to be as comfortable as possible, to feel like they're a part of an actual machine, but they're not just driving a car. So, and when you sit in it and you're actually just actually just sitting in it, not even driving it, you feel like you're actually in control, which is kind of cool. That they, is really they cool. They took that in mind. Never had anybody right in the back. How tall are you, Tyler? 5'8". So 5'8". Eight. Does 5'8 eight fit back here comfortably? Uh, neck. <laughs> his neck? Come look at it. Look at his neck. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> so you might need to be uh, lay down back five, here. Five, 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 five lay or down. shorter. Yeah. Actually, pretty good. Wow, these are comfortable, man. I watch this. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. cool. That is so cool. <laughs> so I was saying, it's guys like us that work out. These seats actually fit nice yeah, and comfortable. Yeah, they do. The gauge is actually. Can Did you see it? it? Yeah. All right. Um, it's actually inspired by the original LFA. So when you change this, right. it changes that. So right now it's in Sports okay, Plus mode. Can we do that again? Yeah, yeah. So right now it's in Eco mode, and there's a couple of different modes, but once you change it to Sports or Sports Plus mode, That's it changes sick. the same way, and then you can also move the gauge over to the side if you wanted it to, <laughs> to get another menu that on the side. That is so cool. That is awesome. <laughs> wow. This is, like, who would have known that? <laughs> you don't see these cars that often. No. They're pretty rare. But you don't know that all of this tech is in here. Correct. Like you just don't you don't think of it, right? Correct. Like you think of McLaren's and you think of tech, right? Yep. But you don't think of, like Lexus is definitely like a sleeper in a way that like 100%. you don't see these cars, but but now that I'm actually in it, I can appreciate all of like like this. Like they took this is so what is much. this? I don't even know what this is. This is it's actually like a uh it's a mouse pad. <laughs> for oh. that so you don't have to keep reaching See? for the screen I, a, a new so discovery. while you're driving you're just right that here is super some cool. people might not be a fan of it i personally love it so i don't have to keep reaching for oh yeah, the yeah screen every time mine, everything's yeah. right here so. <laughs> man that's got some good torque to it bit, oh yeah fun. wow this is so smooth i just love how like wide this dash is it, it has nice visibility it really does <laughs> oh my gosh, this is crazy. You okay back there, Tyler? No, I'm right back here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh shoot. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, this is fast. This is fast. It's, it's fast and classy. See, my Porsche is not classy. <laughs> it looks classy, but it sounds it sounds, it sounds angry. Way, it sounds way too angry. angry. It's very very angry. Whoa! I just found a little little hidden treasure here. There's no actual like lock that comes up, right? Correct. It's just a light. Correct. Yeah. Ah, it's uh, classy. I'll show you. It's very classy. Yeah. See, locked and then unlocked. <laughs> that is cool. All right, I think you're good now. Does this have launch control? No, no launch no control. No launch control. But, <laughs> but do you really need it? You really need it. Yeah. Old 911 Turbo S. That is cool. That's gorgeous. That's a good one. That is cool. Roll it? Man, we're good. That's cool. This is cruising. That was uh, at yeah. least pre-2006. Pre <laughs> yeah. So this, so this interior mm -hmm. was custom ordered by the first owner? First owner, The first yeah. owner custom ordered this interior. This color combo is oh, just... Oh no, man, I think my Mazda 3 can beat it. <laughs> so this, this doorway is 100 pounds less just due to the yeah. carbon fiber. Yeah, to the carbon fiber that's in the sides. Wow. 
Yeah, and you can tell by like, the build quality of this yeah. door handle. It's so much it's sturdy, you know? Yeah, it's very, very sturdy. sturdy. Have you been into a, in a Porsche before? You know what? I've been in Lambos, McLaren, Ferraris, but I have been in a Porsche. Yeah. I've been doing a Porsche. Come on, man, we're trying to vlog. I guess that's a guy I need to go see maybe in the future. Listen how fast that winds up. <laughs> Sounds so good. So we just got back from giving him a ride in the Porsche. What do you think? Uh, best sounding Porsche I've been around. <laughs> We've heard that. We heard that from the valet at Legacy West. Yeah. He was like, best sounding <laughs> Porsche I've ever ever uh, parked. But okay, really cool thing about the tail lights here. Let's show them. It is actually a mirror, and the tail light goes for forever, like it's sort a of reflection. So look at that. You guys can kind of see it right through there. So it looks like a tail light here, but then you can see the rest of them. That's so cool, like a hundred times today. <laughs> no, really it is. It's, it, it is, everything you've done to it from the carbon fiber uh, diffuser and all the accents yeah. to the way that they built this to your interior, to the orange accents. It is, it is. It, and then to the little lock lights. Yeah, the little lock lights. Everything's so classy. This is based off um, Samurai Swords it is a Japanese wow. vehicle, so this whole part is actually it is. It kind a of samurai. Looks... It's made to be look like a it does. samurai sword. Yeah, wow. So they, they put a lot of thought into it, and this is one of the only vehicles, brands as well, that took a concept vehicle, put it out there for concept cars, showroom and all that, and actually put it into production. So this exact same thing you see was the actual concept back, uh, I believe it was 2012. So, concept vehicle actually made it to reality. To all my neighbors, I really am sorry about this. It's uh, almost 11 o'clock at night. But I have to wash the car before the show, so if you're in my neighborhood, I'm sorry, don't get too angry. Don't post nasty comments on the Facebook page for the HOA, I'm sorry. But I have to wash the car, alright? Well guys, we are back, tucked away in the garage. The Porsche is clean. We did a nice wash, we detailed the inside, the wheels were due for some love and care after driving it for most of the week because the weather's been nice and they were absolutely filthy and these wheels, by Quality One wheels, they, uh, they look their absolute best when they're clean and you guys can definitely see how amazing these wheels look when, when they're clean. When they're dirty they kind of look like satin gold which still isn't a bad look but Looks much, much better when they're clean. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you liked it. Please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed. I think like 85% of you guys watching are not subscribed, so I'd really, really appreciate it if you subscribe and share it with your friends. It helps grow my channel and get the positive vibes and the inspiration that we are doing, that we're providing for Upshift Exotics out to the world. And that is the goal, is to spread positivity and inspire others to chase 
their dreams using these exotic cars. So I hope you're having a great morning, day or night, wherever you are in the world. We'll see you next time.